We fought for each other. And we fought against each other. And we were American sisters. Want a reality show? Find me sisters who have always gotten along. Guess what? You won't find them. <laughs> okay? Find me a family that's never had an argument. Okay? There's a reality show. <laughs> You'll never find it because they don't exist. When my sister got involved with um, that person, he wouldn't allow her to talk to me. It wasn't immediate, right? I mean, suddenly. Yeah, it was. I met him once at the engagement party. And then he told her, you will never see her again. Everything had to go through him. Everything had to be filtered. And that's when I realized this isn't a healthy thing. But you, you can't judge another person. You can't. All you can do is judge yourself. So you have to basically back off and say, all right, what am I going to do when she does call? I love my family very, very much. I admire my sister. And like any sisters, we drive each other bananas some of the time. But then our reunions are so emotionally draining that we need time to recover, too. Her marriage fell apart, and she called you. She called me. But still, you haven't seen each other. You just talked on the phone, Yeah, right? and we talked for a long time on the phone. So when we saw each other, we had broken the ice already on the phone. It wasn't like we hadn't spoken to each other. But it takes you a while. So it was 16 months. And we've talked every day since. So, Lona and Liza, you haven't met for a while, right? So that's right. quite an emotional day. Tell mm -hmm. me, what did you do today? You, you we met went to lunch. the hairdressers, and then we went to lunch, and then we <laughs> came here, and we had an interview, just like a normal day in everybody's <laughs> life. No, just a normal day. <laughs> I mean, it's really <laughs> boring. I mean, it really is. It's boring what we do. We go to dinner, no, we go to lunch. nothing with her is boring. And I love that people just like, I love the reaction that we'll be at lunch, and people go... <laughs> them together. Oh, no, here's the best. Yes. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, so we came out of lunch today, all right? And there was this woman in the alley, and she was having some cigarette. And she kept saying, there's a man who's looking over in the alley across from you. There's and a man, there's taking, a man pictures taking pictures. I said, oh, okay, well, let's keep walking. She says, no, let's sh stop and wave at him. Why did you want to do this? Well, because give him what he wants. What are we running away from? He can write a whole story that's, if you go, hello, hello. he'll lose his interest. It was just one thing wrong. We were in the middle of the street. And I said, this is going to be a good picture when the car hits us. Okay? I said, no, be. no, don't run. Don't run. She said, we're in the middle of the street. I said, we're going to get oh. run over <laughs> going like this to the photographer. <laughs> hello, how are you? That'll be the picture. Yes. Splat. <laughs> this is my lucky day. I was seven when Lorna was born. And suddenly, my parents have been divorced, and I have a wonderful new stepfather. And here comes this little girl, which I immediately couldn't quite believe. She was like a doll to me. I used to go in the middle of the night and kind of touch her finger, and she'd grab it. You know, I was always looking at her because she was so beautiful. You've never really seen a more beautiful kid. I mean, the, the hair was like angel dust and all that stuff. I sound like a, 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 I am, I'm a proud sister. And then she started to grow up. I was horrible, I was so horrible. Well, you know, when you're a teenager, you like to smoke, right? So Liza and her girlfriends would go into the bathroom and she would, you know, sneak a cigarette. Okay, I would pound on that door. And if you don't let me in, I'm gonna tell mama. I was horrible, I was such a brat. <laughs> And she used to literally pull me in by my neck <laughs> And so I would just sit there. I didn't want to smoke. I was I just wanted to watch. I want just wanted to be included. I was a bratty sister. She'd say, Why do I have to call you mama? And I'd say, don't say that. And Mama said, Because I like to be called mama. She said, I'm gonna call you mommy. And that was it. Made my mother nuts. <laughs> I'm going, Lorna, just call her mama, please. I mean, she got to go out on dates. I had to stay home. I mean... When was... did I get to go out on dates? Well, you did. You got to go out, and I had to stay home. I never went out on dates. You did. I had one boyfriend, Bobby Mariano. Yeah. Well, you got to go out. I had to stay home. Well, you I... were seven years young. Yeah, well, hello. Be quiet. <laughs> this is my lucky day. 
was making a movie called Lucky Lady, which went nowhere, <laughs> and I'm in Guaymas, Mexico, right? And Lorna would come down and visit me all the time. Now, I, I get home one day, and I was married to Jack Haley Jr. at the time, who was a wonderful man. And he said, is this new? What does this mean? And I opened up the paper, and there was Liza Minnelli and Burt Reynolds having a torrid affair. I said, don't worry about it. It's not me. It's not you. I said, of course it's not me. He said, I know. Well, who is it? I said, I, I don't know. And went racing in the room and called my sister and said, they've gotten hold of the news. <laughs> so we got to keep it quiet and hide it and do all that stuff and cover for each other like sisters do. We used to do routines together. You know, like it's very kids of coal miners who would pretend to be pounding coal. We pretended we were singers and dancers at that point because that's all we knew. We're from Hollywood, you know. And um, I would teach her certain things that I wanted her to do. And I was so strict with her. I'd say, no, on the right foot. You know, and she was home. <laughs> she'd look up at me with that beautiful face. You know? And then she'd do it perfectly. And she was always musical. She was always sensational. My mother wanted to protect me, but once she knew that I was going to take that step, then she backed me all the way. But she did. She didn't ever say to me, don't go into this industry. And she never really said to me, please do this. What she did is she let me follow my dreams. But she warned me. She said, do you look at me? Look at what, what's happened to me. And then that's all you can do. Every day when the work is behind you and the shop and the store, put the lock on the door. You're going to go into the same profession as your mother, as your sister, then get ready for the pitfalls. That's one of the pitfalls. Don't hang around with worries. Don't, <laughs> Don't hang around someplace in town. Go ahead. Uh, when the evening comes, there's so much to do. I think that of all of us, Lorna and Mama were the most alike. I know a place where we, we can go. Brilliant, Lorna. <laughs> Wonderful. What good is sitting alone in your room? I think because my sister is dark and she has the look of her dad and my mom to people. And of course, I'm just so naturally blonde. Put down the knitting, the book and the broom. I have blue eyes, and I don't look like my famous sibling, or sometimes, you know, in younger photographs, I think I look sometimes like my mom. And as for me, ha, and as for me, I made my mind up back in Chelsea. She was a, 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 this tornado, okay, on a stage that, I mean, or on a screen or, or where, wherever. I mean, you just, you were blown away. So when I started, when I started, I didn't know what to do. I just, I knew I didn't want to wear a bowler hat. And I didn't know why I wear <laughs> and I didn't want to sit on the edge of a stage. <laughs> and I didn't want to do any of this. Toodaloo. And I thought, okay, now what am I going to do? But then you see, her generation was much more into rock and roll. So Lorna rocked. Lorna could move, she could rock. She sang great rock, still does. <laughs> Everybody's always 